Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and another quick one for you. Again, I got some spooky tutorials coming up, but I found another incidental, and this is such a great example, I couldn't let it pass by. So this is just a quick example of how to use the warp flow transition to hide a jump cut. So I don't mind having a tasteful jump cut here or there, uh, but this one wasn't very tasteful. So I'm just trying to introduce this topic. Spooky. I should have started this. And it's so close. It's so close right there it, it just jumps just a little too much for my taste and it just makes it spookier. I should have started it makes it a little jarring I should have it and it doesn't need to be so uh, a quick way to fix that and this is only a Vegas Pro 17 feature that's why there's not a movie studio tutorial on this so do just a small transition of a few frames and there you can almost see it working right just that fade that little fade itself almost hides it except you can see the blur between the fade if you go to your Transitions tab, right, this is only in Vegas Pro 17. If you go to your Transitions tab, go to Warp Flow, and grab Warp Flow, drop it right there on the fade that you made. Now this is, just needs to be a small one. Then you can arrow through and see how it completely, like, just patches together that jump cut. I'm not sh quite sure how this voodoo magic works, but it works. So, uh... You can watch it. It's, it takes a lot of rendering power, so watching it in best full isn't going to give you the uh, best result. What I'm going to do is I'm going to selectively pre-render the video and let you see it, what it looks like. Well, we don't have to do it in 4K. Let you see what it's going to look like in its final state here. I should have... I should have... See, it's so, it's, so, it's so subtle. It just looks like I lean back instead of jump cutting. So that's how to hide a jump cut. Now it has to be something where it's already similar, right? Like where you're already almost in the same position and you have to play around with the right amount of frames. You might want less frames or more frames in your transition. But that's what the warp flow transition is there for and that's what uh, how to hide a jump cut when it's not a tasteful jump cut and you don't want it in there but you really need that shot you really want the way you say it right there. So, thanks for watching. This has been a short one with Adam. Uh, I'm Adam. <laughs> Sorry. This has been a short one for Vegas Pro 17. And I'll see you next time.